this is how you edit your web page on the MCVTS website. First, go to our homepage. It's simply mcvts.net. Doesn't need this other notation after that appears after you load mcvts.net. Once at the page, you will click on sign in in the top right hand corner. You'll use your network login, which is your first name, last initial in most cases, and your network password. It's possible that if you've never worked on the website, there may be some other passwords such as welcome one with a capital W. I may have reset it to my network password at some point. If you can't get in with your network password, try welcome one with a capital W or password one without the capital P. Once you sign in, there'll be a new button, site manager, top right. Click site manager. In the site manager, you will see which pages you'll have the rights to edit. One should have your name on it. You'll notice I've already created some pages here. You might not have anything here. There might be a home page. I'm not sure. You may have to click new page if there's no home page. New page will give you a choice of several different types of pages. You can explore that yourself. I'm going to go with the blank page. Click blank page. Give your page a name. I'm going to call it sample page. Since I'm doing a sample for you right now, click save. Then you'll see it listed on your editable pages, sample page. Go to the Actions button here. Show me what I can do with this. Well, what you want to do is you want to edit the page. Okay, so click Edit. There's not much you can do here at that point until you edit apps. So click Manage Apps and Layout. And what you want to do is you want to add an app right here. There are different types of apps that will add different things to your page. The most general app that you can do just about anything with is Flex Editor app. Add that app. Click Save. Once you have a Flex Editor app, click I'm done. And click the Flex Editor app. This works basically like a word processor. Type in your page title. For example, you can change the, the layout, the justification on the page. You can change the font size. Let me blow that up. And You can type things. You can create links by typing some text, selecting a text, and adding a link right there. Let's say you wanted that link to go to a web address. You would have to choose web address. Let's say that's a Google link. Open in a new window. That's always a good practice. It'll keep people on your site. Insert link. There you go. You've got a link to Google. You can insert images here. Here's an image insert. 
insert photo gallery. Here's an Im image insert. There it is. I could probably upload an image. Let me do large size. Let me browse to the image. Here's a bunch of my images. Here's a picture of a sneaker. Open. Continue. Working. The image appears. Insert image. All right, it wants some alternative text. That's for people that have the images turned off on their web pages. It's kind of an old idea that used to be used in websites. The image appears. You can also insert rich media, such as videos. You can insert files. This is very similar to most word processors. Don't forget to save. And now you have a web page. Activate on page, page is checked by default. And preview that. Preview that at view website. This is what it looks like on line live. I have several different pages. So there's my sample page. And there it is. Welcome to my class with the sneaker image. Okay, I will help you live. Send me an email. My email is Gugliotta G at mcvts.net. Bye-bye.